two videos ago, I have shown you how to create an export rig for cats to solve the rootbone issues. Now one of the members of our community on Discord have created a script for it where you can do it all in one click. Hey fellow animators, I am Milos Czerny. Ok, I will show you how to install the script and how it works in this video, but first I want to address this one thing very quickly. When I released that video where I explained how to create an export rig, almost immediately some comments popped up that this should be a script. And this is a good topic to talk about for a minute because I fully agree with you. There are a lot of things that could be done easier with scripts, but I am also not going to pretend that I am all-knowing and that I could do them myself. I am still just an animator after all. But beside this, even if I knew how to script things, or even how to make this specific script for an export rig, I would still do the tutorial video exactly how I did. You see, even though you have a script for something, you still should know what exactly it does and you should understand everything about it, and be able to do all that stuff by yourself. I believe that most of us saw a tutorial for something somewhere that looked awesome as a final result, just to find out that for you to replicate it, you need to download one plugin here, one script there and three other things elsewhere. And because you needed to replicate the tutorial for some reason, like it had something you could use for a gig you are just doing, you go on with it and start to download all the plugins and scripts, just to realize that the video is 5 years old and two of the three links are not working anymore, or are just for older versions of the software. With using a downloadable content in tutorials, there might be a lot of issues in the future. And I try to avoid that if I can, because I want to keep these videos at the highest quality possible and not frustrate people in the future. I don't use any plugins or workarounds for the basic tasks I show in the videos because I want a regular person that just started 3ds Max 2 weeks ago to have the same tools as I use. However now because there already exists a video where I explain everything from this script in full detail and how to do it all manually, it doesn't bother me to have a video like this, so let's get to it. All the thanks goes to Shirzad Bahrami, who created this script and you should credit him anywhere where you will talk about it. Check out his ArtStation page as well, where you can find even more scripts he has done. Ok, let's take a look at how it works. Head to this link and download it. It's also below the video. If it wouldn't work in the future, you can probably still contact him via my Discord server, if he is still there. But he said he will update the script to newer versions here, so the link should probably work for a long time. By the way, currently it works for 3ds Max 2020, 2021 and beta of 2022. Now unzip the downloaded file and copy the CAD root node folder to this location. C drive, program data, Autodesk and application plugins. In 3ds Max, just press X and search for cat root node. Or you can edit as a button. Customize user interface, toolbars and find cat root node. And edit to any button bar you want, or create a new one. The script itself is very neat and simple. Select the cat bones you want the regular bones created for, and add them to the list. Hit recreation and done. You have an export rig and also a root bone ready. You can also transfer the skin like I showed you in the video before. Select the mesh and select the skin modifier. You can see it's now skin to the cat bones. Hit skin transfer and new skin modifier will appear. It seems like nothing happened because currently the new bones have the same names as the cat ones, so let's rename them just to make it more clear. Now the new bones don't have the Cadric in their names. And when you check the skin modifiers, sure enough, the new one uses the max bones, while the old one was using cat bones. So the skin is transferred successfully. And this is basically it. The script is very simple to use and gets the job done. So again, thanks to Shirzad Bahrami. You can also thank him personally on my Discord server if you want. And that's it for today guys. I am Milos Czerny and thank you for watching.